Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn chapter 5 class 9 science the fundamental unit of life. So first here we have to learn the meaning of the word fundamental. That what does the word fundamental mean? It means basic, a very necessary. To understand the meaning of fundamental, let's see an activity. Here it's a puzzle, a puzzle game. Normally on Sundays on, and on holidays we love to play puzzles. So you can see here that each piece of the paper is necessary to complete the picture puzzle because this is a picture puzzle. So as each piece of the paper is necessary to complete whole picture, in this way cell is the fundamental unit of life and it has its job cutouts so that the organism may live. Means cell is the fundamental unit of life, of each and every life. Cell is the very basic unit of the life. If we rearrange all the pieces of the paper completely, the picture looks complete. And if we miss out even a single piece of paper, the picture will not complete. So here in this video, we will learn, list the scientists involved in the discovery of the cell, microscopic examination of plant cell and microscopic examination of animal cell. So we start with discovery of the cell. Discovery of the cell means who discovered the cell first time. So discovery of the cell is associated with the invention of the microscope. Means without microscope cell cannot be seen. As we know that cell cannot be seen with the naked eye. In 1665 Robert Hooke an English scientist looked at a thin slice of cork. Cork is a very thin slices of the bark of the tree. So he observed thin slice of cork through a compound microscope. He observed many tiny hollow room like structures resembled as honeycomb and called them as cells. Here, Hook only saw outer cell walls because cork cells are not alive. He was only able to saw the cell walls of the cork. Second scientist is Lewan Hook. In 1674, with improved microscope, he discovered free living cells in pond water first time. Free living cells means the organisms may be moving here and there under the microscopes. They are called as free living organisms. Next, Robert Brown. In 1831, he discovered the nucleus of the cell. Robert Brown first discovered that nucleus in the center, a darkly stained substance present in the cell. Parkinier, in 1831, coined the term protoplasm for the fluid substances of the cell. He firstly discovered, he firstly gave the term protoplasm. Protoplasm is the fluid substance present inside the nucleus and presence in the cytoplasm. Next are Sheden in 1838 and Schwann in 1839. They proposed a cell theory. Cell theory that all the plants and animals are composed of cells means bodies of plants and animals are made up of cells. Rudolf Virchow in 1855 he further expanded the cell theory by saying that all cells arrive from pre-existing cells that you can see over here in this image that from one cell by division method two daughter cells are divided. In this way these two daughter cells are further divided into four daughter cells. So all the cells arrive from pre-existing cells. This theory was given by Rudolf Varcher. Here 
Cellula is a Latin word which means a little room. As Hook saw a small tiny room like structures in cock slides, he gave the name cellula means cells, little room. Now we will move up to the microscopic examination of plant cell. That how plant cell looks under the microscope. So here for this we have to do one activity. Take one onion, cut it into half, peel off the thin layer of the onion with the help of forceps, place the peel on the glass slide, put a drop of water on it, add a drop of iodine solution to it, place the cover slip on it, tap with the needle on cover slip to remove the bubble, place the slide under the microscope and see the observation. Here is the image which can gives you the information that how you have to complete this activity that cut one onion into half. Arrow indicates you have to peel out the peel of the onion from here. Then place that peel on the glass slide with the help of dropper put a drop of water and a drop of iodine solution tapping with the needle and observe under the microscope. Now here is the observation. You can clearly see the plant cell that is onion cells under the microscope. That small cell like structures can be observed. Each cell contains prominent vacuole, nucleus and cytoplasm. Also you can easily see the cell walls of the cell because onion is a plant cell and we know that plant cell having the cell wall. Likewise we will moving to the microscopic examination of animal cell. That how animal cell looks under the microscope. Let's begin with an ice cream spoon or you can take any spoon. Scrap inside your cheeks and transfer on the glass slide. Spread the drop of water. Add drop of methylene blue. Place the cover slip on it and place the slide under the microscope and observe the animal cell. Now here is the observation. You can see the image of cheek cells that cells are darkly stained with spherical nuclei at the center. Here also one thing you can notice that cheek cell does not have the cell wall because it is an animal cell. An animal cell does not consist cell wall.